Serving Canada has always been the honor of my life, whether it is in a flight suit or in a business suit, and I will never stop serving Canada. Aaron O'Toole has lost his job as leader of the federal Conservatives. 73 out of 119 Conservative members have voted to oust O'Toole as leader of the party. I pledge my support and unwavering loyalty to our next leader, and I urge everyone in our party to come together and do the same. O'Toole was elected party leader in 2020 after Andrew Scheer stepped down. But after a disappointing loss to the Liberals in last fall's election, the knives began to come out. I think anytime you lose an election, uh, especially when you're close, um, these kind of things, uh, there's always people that uh, start to uh, um, want to look in different directions. O'Toole's ousting began after 35 members of his party signed a letter calling for a leadership review vote. He faced a barrage of criticism from his own colleagues for moving the party too far to the centre, promising to maintain a carbon tax and keeping the Liberals' firearm ban. Those moves exposed the divisions within his party that ultimately led to his demise, the Prime Minister thanking his former rival. There is a lot we don't agree on for the direction of this country. Uh, but he stepped up to serve his country, and I want to thank him uh, for his sacrifice. The Conservatives plan to elect an interim leader by Wednesday night. Despite the questions about the timing of the change, some see brighter days ahead. I'm looking forward to this fresh start that we now have. We're entering a new era for the Conservative Party. While others aren't so optimistic about bringing the different sides together. It's going to be a bloody tough job. Bloody tough job. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.